Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. So today I'm just going to do a quick changing video with uh, both of my boys, um, Aspen and Major. Um, as I stated in the last video, I am planning on keeping Aspen. Um, Aspen is the prototype um, for the Aspen Sculpt and I'm going to keep his name Aspen. Um, he was sculpted by Claire Teller. Um, his kits will be available for pre-orders um, within the next couple weeks, I, I believe. And um, But I'm not sure. I'll have to give information when I get it. Um, and Major is um, my sweet little Sam by Gutter and Legler and also painted by me. Um, I had the boys both on the same kind of onesies before and then I kind of changed them. Let me see if I get a little closer so you guys can see Major. Um, but I, um, I kind of changed, um, Aspen quite a bit of times. You know, when they're new, you kind of be getting a feel of what they, you know, what they fit best and all that great jazz so um both of these babies are like my favorites um i really love them and um i don't know i've i've just you know i'm i'm a lover of the smaller babies um so i do have big babies that i really really love bigger babies i usually don't like the toddler toddler babies um as much but i have found that i have been um really like liking some of the toddlers and um so yeah so i i do have my phoenix which is limb by bonnie brown he is like my all-time favorite boy um a lot of times he he is like either laying around in the nursery or in my room or around the house um right now he's <laughs> he's downstairs so he is like the baby that i kind of like to see all over the house and i know that might be kind of crazy but um ah, sorry <laughs> trying to get more light in um but yeah he just you know he just really warms my heart and then um cody bear of course my my first vinyl prototype by laura tuja ross um i sold the prototype but i have my blank kit now so as soon as i get a free moment to slide in um uh, the the vinyls on my table paint table i will be painting my personal cody bear that will also be a part of my favorite collection. I really love him as well. So I think I it's fair to say that I love a variety of sizes of babies. But I'm naturally drawn to sleepers usually. And um, newborn or, you know, creamy babies. Stuff like that. Mostly in vinyl, I'm usually um, newborn up to, you know, three to six months. But um, silicone is preemie and newborn. I usually don't like a, a silicone baby bigger than um, three to six months. Um, three to six months in cloth, but normally newborn size no bigger than three months. I mean, full body three months because I just don't like, um, you know, the, the bigger silicone babies just because of handling purposes and stuff like that. But guys know you never know you always say oh I don't, I don't that's not what I like I don't like this I don't like that then someone come out with something and you be like oh my gosh I gotta have that one you know it's like everybody's going crazy about the toddler and I'm no exception the Maylee by Ping Wow oh my gosh I've been going crazy over that one too so I did order it and you guys know I make it no secret I am not able to paint the German vinyl normally so I don't know if that one's going to be German vinyl or it's going to be vinyl like the Katie Marie 
that I painted before. If it's like the Katie Marie, then I'll be happy because I can at least paint that. So I ordered it just to see. And then I'm going to be in trouble if not because finding someone to paint it for me is going to be a real challenge. And um, I'm going to be really, you know, kind of bombed out about it. You know what I mean? But we're going to see. So, yeah, so it's just it's just funny how all the stuff changes. Now, I was going to share like a little mini haul video with you guys. But sometimes it's like my stuff, the stuff that I buy for my babies are so like cheap and <laughs> generic. Like it's not nothing fancy usually or anything worth sharing, I feel like, um, half of the time. So I was like, ah, I don't know. So I just decided to change them on camera. But maybe when my um, when I get my baby, um, I will paint it and everything, or you know, get some of the some of my personal babies ready. I will do um, a haul video and show their things because I have like a another little. Um, selection going where I've been nesting for my girl um, I'm expecting oh so many like um, silicone kits so I have um, I'm expecting I'm gonna do his hair in a minute I'm expecting uh, Louisa by Lillian Breville I'm expecting um, a Finn by Lillian Breville Andrew by Mesa said um, and I have my birdie here the boy that I still need to finish I also have Mr. Grumpy as a um, cuddle head and I have Alex a partial which I have the partial kit I don't know you know part of me wants to just sell the blank kit and just say I'm not going to I think I'm going to put him on this color and him on this color. I think they look better in those colors. I don't think the orange is going to look as good on him. Oh, it would actually. But I still think I like this color on him more. So I'm going to put the orange on him. Um. But yeah, I... So I don't know. I'm really perplexed about that part. Um. I can't wait to get my Sam rooted at some point. Um. He may not be able to go next, but he's definitely high on my list to get um, rooted. But I think I need to get Maggie rooted for sure because I'm tired of putting her on hats. And um, the little babies, I don't mind them being bald and I don't mind them having on hats. It doesn't bother me. The bigger babies bother me a lot more because I feel like when they're older they should have hair you know even if it's just a little bit of hair they should I'm used to them having hair so I'd be wanting the hair on them um but yeah I'm definitely not gonna keep all those babies when I paint them I I'm gonna have to pay, play process of elimination between the kits that I have um, and I don't know if I'm going to decide, you know, after I paint them or am I going to keep them all and paint them all first and then see who I bond to the most or, you know, I don't know. Um, I know one thing I usually be all in for just asleep babies, but here recently, um, painted Ashby made me actually like the Ashby sculpt when I when she was blank I decided I didn't want a Ashby um for my personal collection but as I started painting her she starts smiling and stuff at me and I'm like oh my gosh I really like the Ashby now so I think the Ashby's are really cute so I it's like you know it's just like with Abby I wasn't expecting to fall for Abby but you know 
once you know she started coming to life with her painting and everything i found myself um just you know wanting to play with her hold her all the time and so i'm i'm finding that of course the awake babies make you want to interact with them more and i know somebody else mentioned that they feel the same way but i'm gonna get over here and do his hair but um oh i don't know this is gonna be awkward maybe i'll switch switch their places so i can do his hair how about that <laughs> um yeah so i know some people um kind of feel the same way i didn't play him on his half tummy plate this kid actually has a a little half tummy plate um but he don't need it because he's it's, you're not gonna see it anyway um but yeah, I, so I just found that I just, like the sleepers, I just love to just pose them and see them, you know, just laying and, and stuff. But then the awake babies, it's like, you want to talk to them. <laughs> you want to pick them up. It's, it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, it's kind of, kind of weird how you know we we find ourselves being more drawn to the ones that we don't even think we would be as drawn to um sometimes even the sculpt itself you may not like until you see a particular artist reborn them like i've um had you know kits that i just didn't like and i've seen other artists do them and i'm like oh my god like i really love that kit like that that one is really nice but sometimes it does happen where it's more of the art and then you like it because that artist did such a fabulous job but then you realize when you get it you don't really like it so it can work both ways but i found most of the time it's just that you just need to see it in different styles and I think that's why, you know, we're always like, as collectors, we're always like, oh, you know, we wish, you know, the sculptors would use, you know, a variety of um, different, you know, prototype artists and stuff. And, you know, not the same ones every time. But, you know, some of them we, we actually look for to see. Like, everybody always expect to see Sylvia... Um, Esquire to do every single prototype. I mean, if a new kit come out, I automatically, I don't know about you guys, I don't know if you guys do this, but I automatically go to Sylvia Instagram or her page and I look to see what she did with it because it's like it's a given that she's going to do that prototype. Um, rather, it's um, Bountiful Baby or a sculpted one. I I just expect to see her doing the prototype i mean she's like the um i don't know what you want to call it um i don't know what, what you would call that um i don't know but she is the she is the the prototype queen <laughs> i guess um and so i just kind of look for her prototypes and um so it's kind of one of these things both of these boys believe it or not can actually take sorry i know i take them out of the thing can actually take um modified passies um he just can take more of a nipple but um uh sam you have to just um you have to make it a little bit more narrow for him but he can also he can really take it too he can take a um he can take a a, a modified pacifier as well and he does have a little bit of gum up in his mouth as well and so and i really like the way his mouth is too so i don't know these babies just 
you know, they really won me over. Um, but yeah, yeah, so he can just take, you know, just modify. But I like him without it. I know. I like him with it, but most of the time I like him with without it. Hand mitts. I like him with hand mitts on too. But I know I realize that people want to see the limbs. I know when I am looking at a new kit, I always want to see like the hands, the feet. I don't want to see them covered all up and stuff. I'm gonna zoom in and then I'm gonna go. And I will talk to you guys later. Um I know I have been a little like wah 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 lately. I'm really tired. Um I just have a lot of stuff going on. So I'm trying to get everything done and um so I I guess I'm just my energy level is kind of low and the babies are just they're just my my piece of relaxation and I don't know I've I've just been using them as a true distressor and I do this you know sometime I will be working and I will just get up and pause what I'm doing and I will come in the nursery and I will dress a baby or pick a baby up and move the babies around in the nursery it's just the way that I unwind this is my only stress reliever i don't smoke cigarettes i don't really drink i ha I, I will have an occasional drink you know <laughs> but i don't so i don't this is my release this is my this is my main hobby so um yep yeah. so i hope you guys enjoyed watching the boys and i will catch you guys later thank you bye bye